Hello everybody. Today I'm a pretty unassuming place here that's filled with a lot of different random cars. They all seem to be German and British cars. But they have an interesting collection of these Land Rovers. And I think there's a Land Cruiser over there. That's kind of turns it into a, like a little museum. And then this thing is actually, you know, they, this place, I should say, is actually uh, selling cars too. So they have a little uh, piece of paper. Not window stickers, but a uh, piece of paper that actually talk a little bit about each car. So I know that, and they have prices too. So it's interesting to see how, um, you know, how these cars are priced. So I am not into these cars, just as a matter of full disclosure. I don't know much about these cars. I know they were once used as a very, very utilitarian vehicles for farm work for military for a lot of different things and obviously you know they are from england so this particular one is actually a right hand drive too so you know a true historic survival survivor it looks like the seats are all nice yeah there's actually three seats across and this one is actually i guess this is like their show car because this is the name of the place and they advertise themselves over there highgate motors if you guys can see that as so um, you know they service and sell mercedes porsche bmw volkswagen land rover and audi sales service and restoration so this is kind of like their showpiece and wow you know i guess they sure don't make the the many more like this look at this exposed lock you know then this is a true mechanical you know block no, nobody gets through through this look at this a, a, a true locking gas cap you know put a lock through there wow tiny little exhaust popping up you know the the, the white uh, well they're not rims steel wheels uh look at all this stuff wow the it's pretty tall like it's probably got another foot and a half on me so yeah, so this is an interesting one. So once again, I treat this as a, as a mini museum, kind of see what all the different um, variations are and everything else. See, everything is kind of like this mechanical lock, you know? So the, one of them is unlocked. So I guess we could go in there. Got the little skylights there. This one has additional seats. Wow, so this, this is a seven passenger vehicle. This one was converted though. And then you have this, there's a little air, air vents, literal air vent. Look at that, Union Jack and everything. And obviously, you know, I understand they come from different years. There's possibly, you know, different styles and variations and i know that these things have a following they definitely do and they are not cheap in a restored way and we're gonna we're gonna look at another one there uh it's got a it's got a price tag on it so i'm guessing this is a little bit later model just by just by the looks try not to throw my own shadow oh look at this very utilitarian step that kind of folds away spring loaded oh yeah there you go so this one this one is all this one is actually i think unlocked there you go so check this out so first of all all steel look at this this is like a freaking safe i don't actually know how do you lock it from the inside what do you do so maybe something has to do with this but again i don't understand what it anyway and then this button does something all right anyway look at this 85 land rover defender 90 soft top body refurbished Thirty-seven thousand five hundred. mileage 104,000. oh my god now yeah you really have to love these cars you know so you know to be able to shell out that kind of cash look at this this is your climate control really <laughs> i think these are climate control i could be wrong but they have pictures so i can only assume look speaker 
obviously stick shift you got the locking diff yeah you got those air vents and you have bench that's all you get but because of the the rarity collectability and everything yeah yeah 37.5 that's that's no town car money that's definitely not it what is this i guess the the pulling part fell off which kind of sucks because it's on the lock but i can't get in there and i don't want to hurt myself so it's a land cruiser also kind of the same way looks like a jeep i mean actually it looks more like a modern jeep than it does the old stuff yeah look they're also copied uh i guess the land rover at that point they have the little fold out benches what is this another toyota from california oh this one is in rough shape i'm guessing this is for a gas can yeah the family resemblance oh wow this one the hood is actually split in, in half huh wow and these are all really rusted see is this one unlocked yeah this one is unlocked oh my god look at this gasket look at this gasket <laughs> the gasket is literally falling apart like i touched it and i think i put my finger through it i don't think these things were ever meant to be locked oh no no there's a there's a key but like from the inside i don't think i don't think you can lock it from the inside maybe something has to do with this little thing but i don't know all right yeah this is a this is a restore for 17 595 okay so they don't know the mileage it's a great project yeah it's a great expensive as hell project but wow but yeah i mean for the right person you know i'm not judging don't get me wrong got this soft padding but it's so old that it's solidified so it's no longer soft yeah this one is uh yeah i mean for the person who has the means and the love obviously this is this is good i love the steering wheel the thin rimmed very very giant steering wheel and this one doesn't have anything in the back there you go so yeah what a what an interesting place so uh i gotta drive around here's another one what is this oh it's also right right hand drive this is once again more modern variant also with like a kick down step okay yeah so that's got to be climate control right here i mean what else could it be oh this one's in great shape yeah this is much better <laughs> the tape deck look at the size of this tape deck it's like a size of a, of a vcr almost got the headliner i think the headliner must have been restored although it's probably not that old i mean it's probably 80s possibly early 90s <laughs> i love the little rubberized thing and then the horn is here why not here okay wow then this one's got a, a real locking gas cap all right i'm gonna check out some other cars this one is locked but that's somebody's car those are all actually for sale oh well you know what while i'm while i'm down here let's look at some of these this is a ford f-150 i think yeah f-150 ranger so this is before the ranger was its own thing also so they're they're also dabbling with some American stuff here too probably you know to diversify look it's unlocked too the driver's side is locked the passenger side is not okay it does have a funky smell to it and I, I can't reach I don't want to I don't want to climb across this thing oh. okay I shouldn't do that I think there should be a glove box in there but ranger used to say 
Okay, so this is a yet another one of these project vehicles, probably. Um, I think there's a sticker. All right, so a guy just came out, and he kind of asked me not to go inside these cars. So there's actually somebody in there. So that's weird. But anyway, I'm just going to do these couple quick takes. I don't even know what these are. 98? Is this an Oldsmobile? Is this uh What is this thing? Wow. Holy moly. And I know he can see me on camera, so I'm not trying to hide from the guy. Wow. Yeah, it's an Oldsmobile. Wow, it's an old giant Oldsmobile. So, yep, so I will I will respect I will respect his opinion, his request. I will not. And then I guess there's the last thing, which is uh, right here. And then there is a... Uh, a grand marquee right back there. So, don't know what they're doing with this. But, obviously, I'm not going to be going inside. So it's a base Grand Marquis. Looks like it's been forgotten based on the amount of uh, based on the amount of stuff that's piled on, and I can't get in there on the other side. And the fact that I've been spotted, <laughs> I already feel I feel like there's a uh, a sniper rifle pointed at me. So here's a a look at a, yet another place. Oh, that's kind of yeah, kind of. Half restoration, half sales. Well, at least now I know what, what they do. And I'm assuming that the other place that didn't bust me yet, uh, they probably do the same. It's just they, they don't actually advertise very well. So, All right, everybody. So I guess we'll see you next time.